This is Jim Wyatt of Tennessee, and I'm looking ahead to the Titans' season finale against the Houston Texans at LP Field. It's hard to believe it's week 17, and it's hard to believe this is the final game of the season for both these squads. Both of them expected better. Uh, you know, certainly the Texans had hopes of winning the AFC South. Titans expected to be competing at the top of the division with the Texans, and the Colts didn't play didn't play out that way. You know, the Texans instead, you know, had a, a really a forgettable season. They've lost 13 games in a row. Uh, Titans are six and nine heading into this game, and certainly could have been better themselves. And uh, but the, these two teams and their stumbles uh, have allowed, you know, pretty much allowed the Indianapolis Colts to take control of this division. Uh, you know, the Colts are going to win win the division, and uh, and both these teams are going to try to regroup this off season and hope that uh, you know they'll have another repeat performance in 2014. But still, one game left to play. Uh, Titans favored by seven, seven and a half points against a Houston team that has not won a game since they beat the Titans back in week two. How the Titans prevent that from happening again? I think certainly three key keys to the game. One of them was going to be trying to run the football like the Titans did against the Jaguars last week. 181 yards combined for Chris Johnson and Sean Green. Uh, if the Titans could have done that in more games this year, I think the result of the season would be a lot different right now. They weren't able to, uh, but... Uh, you know, the offensive line played his best game of the year last week in Jacksonville with Byron Stingley stepping in at right tackle. You know, I think Chance Warmack is settling down. So the O-line and, and the running backs have to be on the same page, run the ball well again. I think number two, Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to have to to play well and not make mistakes. And I don't, certainly Ryan Fitzpatrick deserves probably better than a 2-6 and six, uh, record in his eight starts this year filling in for Jake Locker. But, uh, you know, he doesn't have it. Uh, and, and large, a good part of that reason is, is because you know he's made mistakes at inopportune times, and uh, you know it, it, as long as he can keep from making really bad turnovers, uh, throwing interceptions, or having a fumble taken away from him like he did against Jacksonville, the Titans ought to be able to to, to put up enough points uh, against the Houston team that's really struggling on offense. But Fitzpatrick can't afford to make mistakes like he's made in some games past. And number three. Uh, you know, the Texans should not be able to run the football against the Titans. If they do, something's wrong. They've got to, they're on their fifth running back of the season. Uh, Jonathan Grimes is the starter. He's got five carries for 23 yards this season. You know, they, you know, the Texans lost Aaron Foster earlier this year. They lost Ben Tate. They've gone through several other backs, and, and now Grimes is the last man standing, so to speak. And uh, So I don't expect for the Texans to have some have success running the ball, so they have to throw it. And they're capable of throwing the ball around. Andre Johnson still has over 1,300 yards receiving. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is a dangerous throw on the other side. Texans don't have anything at the tight end position. They've, they're, they're banged up there. Case Keenum's expected to start at quarterback and play for them. He's been battling an injury. But, uh, you know, the Texans, after playing so many teams close uh, during the course of the season, uh, they, they've been blown out here of late. And the Titans should take care of business in this game. If they don't, something's wrong. And uh, But we'll see. Last game at LP Field, Titans have lost five straight, also playing to try to help save, save Coach Mike Munchak's job. Will a win be enough? You know, that remains to be seen, but certainly the Titans would like to go out in style. Uh, appreciate you watching these videos, the, pre, you know, the preview videos all season. Continue to follow myself and John Glennon on Twitter, at, at Jay Wyatt Sports, at Glennon Sports. Uh, you know, continue to check out the blog at Tennessean.com. We'll be in the press box at LP Field on Sunday to uh, to bring you the details before and after, before, during, and after the Titans season finale against the Texans.